Welcome to the fifth and final part of the 2015 Ant-Man comic series. After getting stamped on by the resurrected Darren Cross, Ant-Man uses his super strength to throw him back. Scott sees Dr. Sondheim and wonders what she's doing here. He realizes that his daughter Cassie's heart is now inside Darren Cross. Cross emerges and beats Scott up. As he is about to finish him off, his son Augustine rushes to him and embraces him. Augustine tells Darren that it was his idea to use Ant-Man's daughter's heart to revive him. When Darren learns this, he decides to get his revenge on Scott through his daughter. Scott, however, has shrunk, and Darren can't find him. Just as Darren approaches Cassie, Scott appears and throws him to the floor. Darren recovers and rushes at Scott. His momentum sends them both crashing out the side of the building and landing on the street below. Just when Scott could use Machine Smith and Grizzly's help, Smith decides that they have done what they were asked to do, getting Scott into the building. Since their job is done, they decide that they can leave, abandoning Scott to Darren Cross. Finding himself alone, Scott summons an army of ants to attack Darren. This upsets Darren, who vows to end Scott's life. Scott knows he can't win, but he hopes he can buy Sondheim enough time to save Cassie's life. Just as Darren is about to land the finishing blow, something strange starts happening to him. He begins to shrink, the pim particles now in his bloodstream are causing him to shrink. Augustine arrives to save his father, and Scott watches them both escape. Scott regrets letting the two of them get away, but he has more important things to worry about. When he gets back to the lab, Sondheim tells him that Augustine forced her to remove Cassie's heart. She was able to transplant another heart into Cassie's body, but the body is rejecting the organ. They are running out of time to save her, as her own immune system attacks the new heart. Scott knows that his only choice is to shrink down to cellular level, enter Cassie's bloodstream, and fight off the white blood cells himself. As he attacks the cells one by one, he reminisces about his life so far, from Cassie's birth, to the first time she was in hospital for her heart condition, to the last time they were together in Miami. He promises not to let her die. At that moment, he hears Sondheim tell him that Cassie is stabilizing. Three hours later, Peggy arrives at the hospital where Cassie has been taken. Sondheim meets her and tells her only that Cassie had a serious myocardial infraction. She doesn't tell her anything about Darren Cross and the heart transplant. She tells Peggy that Cassie called Scott for help and that he saved her life. Peggy embraces Scott and says that she finally trusts him. He has always been Cassie's hero and she would love for him to stay in Miami. Scott is tempted by the offer. He almost believes everything will be all right, but he knows the truth. Cassie nearly died because of him. He decides that the best thing to do would be to leave his daughter out of his messes once and for all. Later that night, he sneaks into Cassie's room and gives her one final kiss goodbye. He shrinks down and leaves. He is finally going to let her go. And that's how 2015's Ant-Man ends. Thanks for sticking with us through this series. You can watch more comic book summaries on our channel. See you next time, and stick around for more comic book action.